Former player of the year. Former king of bowling. Coming off a comeback win. Starts with the pair. You see a player go down to his knee as soon as it leaves his hand, you know he likes it. It's exactly what Malat did right there. Buttruff off that open frame on the right side. The lefty gets him all to drop. We had a feeling this was going to be this type of match. This is going to be a slugfest. Hailbone! Malat knew it coming in. I knew it coming in, and I think just about everybody else knew it coming in. Chancing Lumberjacks. I don't think Wes is going to like this one. Gosh, dang it. Ah. Bad shot. Grabbed it. Now he's paid the price, leaving the 3 6 9 10. Totally on me. Converted 66% of the time on the tour. This was a grab, and it's left of target. Open frame. And that's the problem with that 3 6 9 10, whether you try to hook it in complete control here in game one. Remember, you got to win two points, two games. Seven in a row. And this is turning into a route. 46 pins with two frames to go. Max score now for Wes Malott, 223. Jacob Buttruff, max score 279. The 7-10 split on television. Right now, this guy's just slinging pure mm -hmm. filth. Yep, first strike of our second game. He's got the only strike here in our second game. Both strikes on that right lane. Uh, you can hear it. He knows how important this shot is. Needing success on the left lane. And finding it! And that's what I'm talking about. When you have the opportunity, you take him to the shed. Take him behind the shed. On the strike train, late kick of the 10. Big West needed that. It's all but over, and we will go to a roll off. Left the 10. Cover the spare and wait for Jacob. You gotta roll it, come on. And then do the math. You heard him say, Come on, West, you gotta roll it. That was a bad knee bent. That was that was one that that he was praying for. That was begging. Please carry the ten. Looking for mercy in Portland. Max score now for West Malat two seventeen. Max score Jacob Buttrip two fourteen. Two twenty six one ninety three the final and that one advantage West. This is experience versus youth here in the roll off. Buttruff, a magical season. Can it continue here at the playoffs? He gets them all to fall. Let's keep in mind that Buttruff only missed the pocket one time. I think Wes has to be perfect. I think he needs 60. He's working on it. I think he needs 60, Rob. I honestly do. Moments like this where this crowd can actually hurt you, can get in get your jacked. brain. Get too jacked. That needs to He hug. looks away. He does Terrible. not like it. Oh, my. One, two, four. Covered 88% of the time. He's got it. 
Well, if he strikes here, he forces Buttrup to strike first ball on the right lane. The only chance he has, I think, is if he strikes here. And I don't think that's a very good chance in and of itself. Nope. Oh my yes. gosh. That looked like a frozen rope right to the one three. I thought that was going high. There's a dark part of me that wants another roll off. Strike for the win. Oh! He got it wide and overhooked. He leaves a six spin. He has to cover this and then and strike. Then strike. And then we'll go to a one ball roll off. Does it get any better than what this? What a knockdown Monday on FS1, huh? This is great. First edition of the PBA playoffs. Got to take care of this. Got to make it. All right. Now he's got a strike. No! The big nasty moves on again. Sitting down. Unbelievable. The second time here at the playoffs, Malat sat and watched himself advance. The Big Nasty off to the quarters. A huge upset. Unreal. Jacob Butcher starts with 268, loses angle. All of a sudden, can't strike when he hits the pocket. And look at that right there, the end of his run here at the first ever PBA playoffs in Portland, Maine. Wow.